Whether you're hosting a one-time event or a series of recurring ones, EV is here to make ticketing and event management easy right from your Shopify store. Let's jump in and set up your first event together. First, you'll need to install the EV Events and Tickets app from the Shopify App Store. So to do this, head over to the Shopify App Store, search for EV Events and Tickets, and once you're on this page, click Install. Follow the prompts in your Shopify admin. And that's it. Once installed, you're ready to create your first event. With the app installed, you'll find it in your Shopify admin under Apps. Look for EV Events and Tickets and click to open it. From the Apps dashboard, click the Create Event button and let's fill in some details. Event Name. Pick a name that describes your event clearly. This is what your customers will see, so make it catchy and informative. Date. Is this a one-time event or recurring? For one-time events, pick the date from the calendar. For recurring, you'll set the schedule later after saving this event. If you're not sure about the date yet, no problem. Just select No Date Yet. Location. Enter the event's address or provide a link if it's virtual, like a live stream or webinar. Event visibility. Choose whether you want your event to be visible in your store right away. You can turn this on or off as needed. Ticket types. Set up your first ticket by entering its price and quantity. Don't worry, you can add more ticket types later. Once everything looks good, click Save Event. This takes you to the Event Settings page where you can fine-tune the event details. The event settings page is where you can customize your event further. Let me give you a quick overview of what's in these tabs. Starting with the event details, edit basic information we've already set up like the name, date, location, visibility, and ticket options. Under the tickets tab, you can add more ticket types like general admission or VIP. Just click add ticket type. Set the price and inventory, and customize as needed. For group tickets, check the group ticket option to bundle multiple tickets into one purchase, like a family pack. You can also add a service fee that will appear as a separate charge on the product page. AV also lets you customize your ticket designs, including the online ticket page, PDF, and Apple Wallet passes. Just click Customize to open the template editor. This is where you can add blocks, rearrange them, hide or show elements, and tweak the design to fit your branding. Next, let's look at notifications. Here you can preview and customize the emails your attendees will receive, like ticket email, bulleted ticket email if they purchase more than one ticket, and the attendee message emails. On the right side, you also see the ticket settings. If you want to create a more personalized experience just for this event, click more at the bottom, then select use custom template for this event and click Change Template to start editing. After that, you can edit each notification by clicking on the Customize button and doing that in the Template Editor. Now, under Customer and Tags, decide if you want EV to create customer records for attendees in your Shopify store when they purchase tickets, even if they're not the person making the purchase. In the Event Tag section, you can assign tags for this event for easy tracking and organization. This section lets you collect information from your attendees before they complete their purchase. You can ask for details like names or preferences. If you've set up storefront integration, you can collect this information before they check out. In the check-in section, you can add staff members who will use the EV check-in app at the event to check in your attendees. You can also set rules for check-ins 
like limiting the number of times each ticket can be used or allowing attendees to cancel or undo a check-in. Finally, under integrations, you can integrate third-party tools like MailChimp or Clavio. You can also add custom fields to collect extra details from your attendees. Now, if you're hosting a virtual event, there's a virtual event setting where you can add the link to your virtual event, whether it's a live stream, Zoom meeting, or webinar. You can also customize the virtual event page, and by clicking Open Page, you can preview it to see what it looks like. Moving on, every event in EV is linked to a Shopify product. This is where your event is showcased, so it's a good idea to make it stand out. To customize your event in Shopify, click More in the top right menu and select Open in Shopify Admin. Add a description to highlight what makes your event special. You can also upload images and include additional details to make the product page more appealing. Important note when editing your Shopify product. Avoid editing ticket variants directly in Shopify, as this can disrupt how they sync with EV. Always manage tickets through the app to keep things running smoothly. Before going live, it's always good to test and preview your event. Click More and select View and Storefront. So this is how the product will look like their customers. Simulate a purchase to ensure everything works smoothly, from ticket selection to email notifications. Check that all details like ticket types, dates, and emails are accurate and ready for your attendees. Now you're all set. Once you've tested your event and everything looks great, it's time to start selling tickets. If you need more help or want to explore advanced features, check out our guides or contact our support team. Good luck with your event and welcome to Evie.